E. For ethical reasons, it is inappropriate to use a PRF in the absence of a clear risk to safety. The use of PRF can be ethically problematic for two reasons. First, a PRF stigmatizes patients, labeling them as difficult, whether for clinical or behavioral reasons. Second, a PRF compromises privacy because it reveals private patient information to anyone who opens the patient's chart, regardless of whether that person has the need to know that would normally justify revealing such information. Accordingly, a PRF must only be used for a compelling safety reason which outweighs these ethical concerns. F. The use of PRF is limited to addressing immediate clinical safety issues. However, PRF are not an appropriate tool with which to alert employees to every potential safety issue. For example, a patient's human immunodeficiency virus status is not an immediate threat to the safety of the patient or staff and thus is not appropriate as a PRF and additionally, would be in violation of the patient's privacy as all users of the computerized patient record system, CPRS, would see the PRF. With the practice of universal precautions, such flags may be redundant. G. The use of PRF for administrative or law enforcement purposes is strictly prohibited. Signaling a veteran's theater or era of service, unresolved felony warrants, or fee basis eligibility would be examples of prohibited uses of PRF. Only safety issues of an immediate clinical nature, e.g., recurring violence, high risk for suicide, missing patient, are permitted. H. A PRF is not the only tool available that may function as an alert for selected problems. Within CPRS, some alert alternatives are the patient problem list, crisis warning allergies and directives, CWAD, notes, and Veterans Heath Information Systems and Technology Architecture, VISTA. However, only category IPRF is to be used to signal high risk for seriously disruptive, threatening, or violent behavior. Keeping escalation from happening to begin. I think people are, people providing health care, again, we've talked about this, they're very empathetic. They want to do the right thing. And I think sometimes with some of the, I guess you would call them introductory behaviors, but that the lower level violence, which could be um, intimidation or it could just be an insult, something about your appearance or, um, you know, something along those lines. I think, I think people are often willing to just kind of brush that off a little bit. Would you say that's a mistake to do that? Okay, fine. So you do it once, but how often do you let it happen? And once becomes twice in the day, becomes three times in the day, becomes you personally are then getting constantly berated and it's undermining your ability until at some point in time you've had enough and the next person who comes in doesn't get the best of you when they are possibly at the worst of them. So there's a problem there to begin with. And we are not in a space where we should be allowing people to have the the expectation that subtle forms of violence are acceptable. So they're not. It's not okay to be bullied, to be intimidated, to be harassed, and to calmly and collectively say to someone, you know what, we employ people in this organization across all backgrounds who are fully qualified and competent and we are very proud to be able to offer Dr. So-and-so's services that meet your specific need, right? And it doesn't need to then have to be a racial slur against Dr. So-and-so because that me we're, we're not talking there. We're talking about quality of healthcare delivery. And then it's up to us as an organization to make sure that this doctor is fully supported in his or her or their clinic to be able to be empowered to say, I am a fully qualified and competent provider, and this is the service that we provide, and this is your choice to receive your care from me. So we don't need to allow our staff, we shouldn't ever allow our staff to have to endure these kinds of experiences solo and without support from our organization. Yeah, I think that's an important message to get out to people too. Um, and, and then, and how do you do that in a way that doesn't escalate the behavior too? 